So I'm going to attempt to mock up the e-stop circuit and I'm going to start off by just trying to just draw out quickly how the circuit works um, and introduce some of the parts. So I've got this which is um, again a bit of an overkill really for a DIY machine but this is a PILS emergency stop relay. So the power to the, to the coil on the re relay is between A1 and A2 and it's a 24 volt coil. Reset is between Y1 and Y2 and then um, the, the switches then are between 13 and 14, 23 and 24 and 33 and 34. Um, I've got a couple of e stop buttons on the uh, on the circuit. I'm going to have one on the panel and then one on the machine. Um, these are just the, the type that um, that you reset by twisting them, um, and then you click them in, um, and they're simply connected in series. I'm just going to connect one as, as part of this um, this mock up. Uh, I've got the main contactor, which is has got a 24 volt coil um, which then switches the larger AC current which is then uh, providing power to the large power supply um, for the drivers. Um, and then I've got a momentary switch for reset. This is one of the, the type that lights up um, and to save soldering onto the ends of these um, I've got one of these little um, attachment bits uh, and then similar style um, but this one is a latching switch which will be for the main kind of on off for the uh, for the relay so the circuit then consists of a 24 volt power supply the pills and the contactor now <clears throat> So the contactor has got its main coil and that's called A1 positive and A2 negative and then you've got AC then with its switch. So when the coil is energised the switch closes um, and the AC current flows. Um, for the pills, we've got the main coil again, which is between A1 A2. We've got the reset, which is Y1 and Y2. And then we're going to use 13 and 33 of the switches. So each one of these then is 24 volt coils. So the 24 volt power supply has got a positive and a negative terminal and obviously incoming into that is line neutral and the earth connection. We've then got our three switches so we've got the the e-stop we've got the reset button which is the momentary switch um, and then we've got the on off 
over here, which I'll just call on. Okay, now because the on off switch and the reset button are also um, going to have um, a little LED light on them to show when they're in operation, um, there's some additional wires which in these cases um, you've got the main um, positive and negative and then you've got these other two um, connections in blue and green. So I'll label it up in the colours that are on these particular wires but um, in reality this will vary depending on which, which switch you use obviously. So the the E stop then is just in series with um, with the the main coil on the pills. So we have positive, and then into there, and then out of here, and over into negative. We've then got a positive connection to the reset button, and then the reset button is then going to the reset terminals and also to 13 on here and that is going to be in this case blue green black and then out of 14 we then back to the negative and um, for the contactor uh, we've got this on off switch which we're going to be taking the red and the blue To the A1 positive. We're going to take the green all the way from the positive terminal round and into there, and we're going to take and we're going to take the black round to negative. Now the the other end we're then going to connect to the 33 terminal on here. And then 34 again down to negative. And that should that should work. But we'll see when we wire it all up. So I've got a bit of din rail here. Um, and we'll start off by mounting on it the 24 volt power supply. The pills relay. And the contactor. Right, now I'll get to work wiring this up. We'll speed this bit up, I think. So it's a bit of a tangle of wires, but this is just a uh, this is just a mock up, I think. I think hopefully when we plug this in, should follow the circuit pretty well. Right, so they plugged it in, DC lights come on on here, but we have no power to um, the pills, and that is because the E stop is currently depressed. So when I reset the E stop, power light comes on 
I then need to reset it. So the reset button, which is this one, so we press the reset button. That then turns that on. After that, the reset button doesn't do anything, but it does remain on to say that it's then uh, it's then ready to go. Can then use the on-off switch then to turn the contactor. So this, if it works, um, the light should come on on here. It should also you should see the contactor and hear the contactor click on and the little LED on the contactor come on as well. So moment of truth. Hooray. So then those two lights then remain on. And when I turn this one off, that then you can see the contactor then click off. And that's so that's on off. So when everything's on, if the e-stop is then pressed power's cut to everything but the light remains on on here to say that if you then were to reset this and press the reset button that the contact is immediately going to come on so that light being on is is useful so press the e-stop you can then turn this one off so that's then you know that then this isn't going to come on then when it's reset twist this power comes on then to the pills Press the reset button on there. This is then all ready to go. And then turn on the power to the contactor. So amazingly, it all works rather well. Obviously when it's all in the box and, and so on, I'll, <laughs> I'll do a much neater job. Um, but in terms of a test and just uh, from this to the reality. Thanks for watching.